Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to use the Veil Toolkit to, ban to bypass antivirus. So the Veil Toolkit is a powerful toolkit that will create payloads that you can then run on Windows machines to get a shell back in your Kali machine. And right now it's completely undetected by all antiviruses and it's a very powerful tool. So let's get started. So we're going to be using PyInstaller to compile executables within Kali. So that's very helpful. So you want to make sure that you have this PyInstaller folder in the root of your root folder. And now we're going to enter our veil folder. And we're going to run veil.py. Oops. And you want to make sure you run the setup.sh script to get this all set up. So this is version 2.1 to main 2.0 and it's included a lot of great updates since versions 1.x. So I recommend you get the latest version. So let's list all the payloads that we can use. So there are 16 currently available. We have some Hyperion, PE Scrambler, some C Cryptors, C Sharp, PowerShell, and a bunch of Pythons ones too. So for this tutorial, we're just going to use a simple Python AES virtual allocation one. So let's type in use 10, and you can type in the name or just the number. So now the Python payload has loaded. So you can see that it's kind of like Metasploit. So have the current value, yes, so it will compile into an executable, which is an executable, which is what we want. And you can also use py carry on, but you don't have to. This makes it more encrypted. So we can just go ahead and generate right now. So you can use msfm or supply custom shellcode, but msfm is easiest. So now you can press enter to get the classic Windows interpreter, or you can use tab tab to see all the uh, other ones you can get so you can do all the windows payloads that are in Metasploit but let's just use the interpreter it's my favorite okay now we enter our lhost so we can type in any lhost or we can just press tab to conveniently get the local IP address now same thing for L port you can choose any port but again just Press tab for the classic 4444. And you can splash commands, but you don't have to. So let's get over in Metasploit to start our handler. And so here you can choose the name of the file. And just press enter for payload. And here's an important part we want to choose py installer to compile into an executable within Kali. So now our file has been compiled successfully, and we can see where it's written to. So the output compiled folder, and you can see all the options that have been set. And again, uh, please do not submit any samples to an online scanner, particularly virus total. Do not upload it there unless it will lose its encryption, and that will not be fun. I have included a link in the description to a scanner that is safe to use and that you can check to make sure it's fully undetected. So now let's go grab that file that's compiled and run it on our Windows machine. Compiled. It's called payload1 because I forgot to delete the source file that was called payload. So we just did it the next number, which was 1. So now let's grab... So here it is. Oops. So first, again, you have to use exploits, multi, handler, I'm an exploit. You can set the L host to that, and the L port. 
two, four, 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 or whatever you put, and exploit. And now it is waiting for it. So now we can run it on our Windows machine. So double click, then setting the stage, and there we are. Our interpreter session is now open, and we can do whatever you, we want. So here are all the options you can use. And here is an antivirus, so real-time protection is turned on, but it still says the machine is protected. But we clearly have an interpreter session. Here also is a scan that I just did, and you can see that it is fully undetected by every single antivirus. So, very easy way to bypass the antivirus and get a shell back into Kali. So this concludes the tutorial. There are resources below in the description and if you need help I will try to help you if you leave a comment below. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.